Well, I don't know if this is part two. I think this is part three of the engine run test stand. I got the bell housing welded on. So it's welded onto the stand. You got the starter on, battery cables, ground cable, gas tank in place battery in place what's left uh, here's the push button starter switch and then like an ignition switch so I gotta make a control little control panel somewhere in this messy garage I have a small sun tachometer if I locate that I'll put that in the panel but there should be Oh man, time to build a motor and get her going. That'll be next. I got an engine, uh, engine stand for building a motor. So I'll get that pulled out, get a motor built, mount it on here, and see if we can test this. So... I think I need to spend a day or two just cleaning the garage. With my legs and feet, that's like as I've mentioned before, one of them egg timers or sand dials. I got X amount of time I can spend out here and then they're done. So I can build stuff like this engine stand or I could spend a couple days cleaning the garage. I'm reaching the point where I have to clean the garage. It's just, I don't normally keep the garage this messy. But, my health just ain't allowing me to, you know, keep up with it like I used to. Plus, I got all the house duties I'm doing now too, I never did in the past. You know, paying bills, uh, doing laundry, doing dishes. Yep housewife and provider and everything all in one but hey not complaining I'm able to do it the best I can all right so there she be part three uh, the last part and I'll just show the engine run test stand and as far as the gauge I'll probably put a gauge oh I don't know up in here somewhere where I can see it and then probably the uh, part four will be I'll have the gauge done maybe a motor bolted to it I mean <laughs> we'll go we'll go give that a try alright you guys have a good week we'll see you later bye